Welcome back to my Nissan, uh, but today was another parts fuck up. Uh, I going for the timing belt for replace, but still was incorrect order. Still was order too long one. I don't know what's happened with the parts department, but don't ask. But that's the local shop. That's not the Nissan story. Okay, but anyway, today. Um, will be a good idea to replace the rear brake parts. The few people ask me about the procedure for this. So the procedure is actually simply. We have the electric handbrake, but don't be panic with this. It's very simply uh, des desactivate this, and there is not any memory story, just desactivate, and I show you the trick how to do this without any problems. All right, so ignition on. Yeah. Is now release and now the ignition off and now the handbrake will be not activate until you switch on the the start button so now we can safety remove it the brake pads and others okay We have to use the big blocks because this is the soof, so that will be safety for the other plastic panels. Good idea will be uh, check at the brake fluid level. I have the maximum so if I will be push back the piston 100% the fluid will be uh, pissing out and make dirty my car and maybe damage the, uh, the metal body the paint so best idea will be remove it maybe actually to here the brake fluid and after pump it up the brakes after replace um, we can add to maybe not maximum because front is worn as well a little bit so below the maximum okay we try gently remove it the this piece don't drop any brake fluid on your body okay so level actually to here will be very well and safety to push back the piston Actually, wheel is free, so we can remove it the plastic cups. And don't forget, if you have the UK car or you have the locks, grab the key. Just the plastic cups. All right, so time to remove it the cups. The cups is fitted like that, so you have to use some stuff to remove it out like that. Or if you have the original. Use the original tools. Little game. Okay, so 
so the outside brake pad is low around the two millimeters but the inside is a little bit better so the first idea we have to disconnect this electric socket and next remove it the two allen keys for this one oh that's not allen that's the stars okay that's the torques two torques and remove it the electric parts so easy just you have to push this out or push this way like that and that's really the same okay the electric units you have the torx 30 nice so now we have to fit something in should be multi display but if you don't have you can use the number seven Stop. You can feel. You can turn around. You have to push. Actually, the brake pads in. So you need it. Thirteen and seventeen. You have to a little bit open the uh, the boot. The air from inside will be out, and the rubber will be come back to correct position. Then. Use the gun or something 
something bigger. Chest cam from the caliper. Leave, leave the caliper some safety place. Need something serious. Okay, so now time to clean up this one. That will be okay. I just I just have to fix the other way because otherwise the machine was not in. So little need more for the files. time prep the new set of the parts You see here is more like here that means this part was not running smoothly in the hunger so that's why it was needed to clean up okay Let's see. This be this. This be this. That's the one ready copy of this okay great time to leave in this
well. So time for Gulliver. You can add some grease here around it. The best idea will be use it the Vaseline. This will be keep water away from here. Vaseline hundred percent nothing. Nothing destroyed here. Okay, lovely. And we can fit now. after strip it same like the other side so time to time to clean up both sides so after cleanup looks like that very very well more space for the parts is ready to fit grease both sides yes we go don't forget about correct position this beam must be actually like that this pin must be really sit in this area like that so 100% you will be sure if the parts if you fit the parts and the piston is no gap here but if you will be have gap like that, you have to twist it the piston. So that's important. Must be like that. Time for the electric parts. So before we put the electric parts, we use some Vaseline. That's be okay. Clear Vaseline. That will be as well help the water seal and dust seal and help you fi fit correctly everything. Clean up inside the water and we try fit. Oh, something else? Okay, uh, it was fully released so we can leave it like that because the system will be adjusted itself. Yeah. If you fit 
this don't forget any gap here must be perfectly sit in okay so now just plug in and waiting for the click and like you see still we have gap here so we have to now pump at the brake pedal for push out the cylinder but don't forget must be like that can be any gap, gap here that's important Was out that actually from here was missing all is without any gap so it looks all right okay so if you will be try do this itself just careful uh, because you're working with the brakes if you're not sure get the car to the your local mechanic and happy day all right guys All right, so the brake pad is done. So we start the engine. We first press the brakes a few times. 100% the piston is on the side. And next we can use the handbrake. Yeah, this adjusts itself. He was running a little bit longer because we release before so now 100% will be okay short and short I, I see the sound it's a little bit short for the second time yeah um, okay we release and release again yeah fine job done guys happy day after Adjust the handbrake from the button. Will be a good idea to check it everything play, play free. And the last step when the car will be on the ground, uh, adjust the brake fluid level, of course. Okay, lift is slow down. Okay, we have down. So now we have to check what's happened with the level. Where is the level now? Okay, so like you see, the level is a little bit. The level is a little bit higher. Was actually here, now it's here, so not much up. But will be a good idea if we adjust this. So we add the fluid. So we need to add the fluid. Up to you, that's depend how much. You have the brakes. I leave it. I leave it below the maximum. Because the uh, the fluid level show you as well when will be finished the front brake pass because it will be below the minimum. The minimum actually is there here 
the minimum so if the minimum if the clue will be there the sensor give you the shout that aha uh -huh, something wrong with your brakes that's cool okay Three, two, one, drop it. <laughs>